In Activity 8, Shadows Big and Small, students observe shadows of different sizes and experiment with ways to change the size of a shadow. Students then learn the relationship between shadow size and distance between the object and light source. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 8, Foam Cones, Foam Discs, and Light Sources with Bulbs. You will also need to provide assorted objects such as a ball, spool, pencil, stapler, or roll of masking tape. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 8 for each student. Arrange the room so that it can be darkened as much as possible and collect extension cords as needed. Plug in the light sources with light bulbs and place them on desks or tables next to wall surfaces. Note that light sources should be positioned far enough away from each other that one light source will not interfere with the shadow being cast at another. Each team of four will need a light source and four different objects, including a foam disc and a foam cone. To begin the activity, hold up two opaque objects of different sizes, such as a ball and a pencil. Ask students, do you think these two objects would make shadows? Students should respond yes, that the objects will make shadows because they are opaque. Then ask, do you think their shadows would look the same? or be the same size. Accept all answers and inform students that they will experiment to find out if their predictions are correct. Next, divide the class into teams of four and assign each team to a light source. Give each team four objects, including a foam cone and a foam disc. Warn the students not to touch or reach over the light bulbs because they can get very hot. Then, darken the room instruct students to hold up their objects one at a time about one meter away from the light source. Allow the students time to observe the various shadows and ask, what is different about the different shadows? Students should notice that the shadows have different shapes and sizes. Then ask, does each shadow look like the object that made it? Students should recognize that the shadows have shapes similar to their objects. Ask students which object made the biggest shadow, which made the smallest. Students should reply that the biggest object made the largest shadow and the smallest object made the smallest. Reiterate to the students that objects of different sizes produce shadows of different sizes. Then collect all of the objects except the foam cone from each team. Ask students, could you change the size of the cone shadow? Answers may vary. Do not confirm any responses at this time and give the students time to experiment with the cone. They may move the cone any way they wish. However, make sure that they know to leave the light source on the desk or table surface. Students may slide the light source while holding the base, but they should not pick it up. Once all of the students have had time to experiment, ask, did you succeed in changing the size of the shadow? Students should respond that they have succeeded in changing the size of the shadow. Next, instruct students to leave their light sources on the desks and to hold up the cones so that they make shadows on the wall. Have them move the cone close to, but not touching, the light source. Ask students, what happens to the shadow when you move the cone closer to the light source? Students should observe that the shadow gets bigger and that the edges of the shadow get fuzzy. Then instruct students to move the cone away from the light source toward the wall. Ask, what happens to the shadow when you move the cone away from the light source? Students should observe that the shadow gets smaller and that the edges get sharper. Then instruct students to move their cones even farther away from the light sources and ask, what happens when you move the cone farther away from the light source? Students should discover that the shadow becomes even smaller. Point out that the closer an object and light source are to each other, the bigger the shadow will be, and the farther apart an object and light source are, the smaller the shadow will be. Turn on the lights and give each student a copy of Activity Sheet 8. Tell students to look at the pictures and decide which setup would create the biggest shadow. Have them circle that picture. 
Then have them look at the pictures again and decide which setup would create the smallest shadow and instruct them to mark an X by that picture. Finally, review their answers with the class. To conclude the activity, have the students return the cones and disks to the kit. Unplug the light sources and return them to the kit as well. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.